What's up guys? In this video, it's a quick little video that I'm gonna show you guys how I got my hazmat endorsement. Two quick steps I did through my phone and I'm gonna show you guys right here, right now. I appreciate it. Like, subscribe, comment. Let me know, man. Let me know what's up, man. Let me know how you got yours. Let me know if there's a better website, if there's a cheaper version in the comments for other people to know, just in case, you know, if my version is just too expensive or, you know, in no other way, there's a cheaper version that you know of, put it in the comments down below so everybody else can see. Like I said, man, like, comment, subscribe, show support, man. And I appreciate you guys for tuning in. What is up, you guys? Today, I'm gonna show you how did I get my hazmat TSA endorsement. All the steps I went through to get my hazmat endorsement. So first, this is the very first thing you wanna do. You wanna go ahead and book this appointment because it's the most important part. First, you wanna go to your Safari, you wanna type in TSA hazmat pre-check. I know I spelled it wrong, don't judge me. This is what it is. So you're gonna click the first one, you're gonna hit apply online. First thing you do need to understand that it is not free. <laughs> you definitely gotta pay. So you wanna apply for it, you wanna click new enrollment, you know, and it's $86.50 in Georgia. This is Georgia, your state may differ, not sure. New enrollment, then you wanna choose your state. Of course, Georgia for me, next. Then you want to fill all this information out. I'm going to skip through at that. All right, guys, after you fill out all the information, it's a few pages to get all that filled out. You want to choose what you're going to bring. I brought my passport and my driver's license. That's the only thing I needed. You got to bring two of something. You know what I'm saying? You got to bring two of something. So after you do all that, you want to make sure everything matches your first and last name. You haven't been married. You know, all that nonsense. Yes, they all match. And then you want to hit next. Next should be uh, where you schedule. So my zip code is 30134. We're gonna just search that. We're gonna use that. This is the one I actually used, East Point, Georgia. You wanna use that. You see, it got appointments available. And then you just go down, hit next. And then you select your date, book your appointment. And that's how you do that, you guys. And after you do that, you come back to this website. And if you wanna check on your status of your, uh, of your hazmat fingerprint background check, just type all the information in again. You'll see it. It's pretty obvious. Just come back to the website and it's going to guide you through all that. Or you can give them a call. If you give them a call, it's going to be on the receipt, all the information. But that's how. You, that's the first thing you want to do. Next, what you want to do, guys, is search C1 Truck Driver Training Hazmat Course. And just click the first one that pop up. It's going to actually get access now. Hit that. This is actually, this actually costs money as well. This is $100, you guys. $99. You fill out all this information. It's gonna ask you for your driver's license number, all that payment to pay all that. And once you finish this course, it's about seven sections and then it's a 50 question test. You just study, pass it, and then it's gonna be sent to the DMV as well. And then once you do that, you guys, this is, this is how I did it. Once you do that, all that is through, you will be able to go get your hazmat endorsement. You will do the last final step, which is take the 20, 30 question test at the DMV. And then you officially have your hazmat endorsement. And that's how you do that.